Talks have wrapped up between Russian President Vladimir Putin and Belarusian leader Alexander Lukashenko in Minsk, and both say they agree to have Russia train Belarusian pilots to fly nuclear-capable bombers. Now, this comes as Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky calls for international aid following yesterday's drone strike by Russian forces. Our Brit Klenet joins me live now from Kyiv, Ukraine, for more on this. So, Brit, Putin and Lukashenko have agreed to continue joint military exercises, but Putin also plans to train Belarus's pilots to fly these nuclear-capable bombers. So just how significant is this, and could Belarus play a greater role in Russia's war in Ukraine? Right, well, the meeting uh, was called a working visit and lasted uh, for more than two hours. And afterwards, they held a, a joint presser. And the two leaders spoke about economic ties, trade, so no surprises there, but also, of course, about security. Putin said Russia did not want to absorb anything or anyone. But U.S. State Department spokesperson Ned Price has said these words were the height of irony, given that there are clear attempts to absorb Ukraine into Russia. But clearly, Belarus is under pressure here uh, to step up support for Putin's war. You know, Ukraine says Belarus is preparing for an attack from the north, but we just don't know if this is, you know, a bluff to divert attention or stretch resources away from the southern and eastern front lines. You know, up until now, Belarus has been hesitant to commit to its, uh, its own troops there, but it's just not clear whether the tide's going to change there. And in a statement, uh, we saw President Zelensky say the Russian strike launched on Ukraine yesterday came from a new batch of drones which, quote, fell short of their intended targets. As we reported yesterday, Ukraine's air defense shot down 30 of the 35 launched. What more do we know about these drones, Britain? How could this impact Putin's war? Right, so these are so-called kamikaze self-destroying drones and we've seen uh, repeated attacks in the capital and around Ukraine of them. Now, Zelensky said Iran has delivered 250 drones to Russia and the latest strikes were carried out from this batch. Most were struck down by air defense, as you say, but the US accused the UN Secretary of General uh, of yielding to Russian threats by failing to launch an investigation into these drones supplied by Iran. But Russia denies it uses Iranian drones in in Ukraine and Iran admitted though it, that it has sent drones to Russia before uh, to Ukraine uh, Russia before to use in Ukraine but before the war all right we're gonna leave it there Britt Clenet thank you hi everyone George Stephanopoulos here thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel if you'd like to get more videos show highlights and watch live event coverage click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts thanks for watching